What's good, guys? Came back from the gun show with some new toys today. I got uh, two Mosin Degant 9130s for a grand total of 250 bucks. So can't beat that shit with a stick. God bless America, right? One of them's in real nice shape. Um, I'm going to refinish the uh, stock. I'm not going to modify it in any way. I'm just going to refinish it so it looks nice and brand new. Uh, the bolt is going to need a little bit of polishing. But uh, everything's functional. Um, so I'm just going to restore this one back to like factory new condition if I can. I mean, there's going to be some little dents and dings, but as you can see here, this rifle was made in 1937. Well, you probably can't see it actually. But. So for being almost 100 years old, this is uh, in very good shape for what it is. Uh, the bore is going to need a little bit of work. It's acceptable. You can see it's kind of dark. That should be real shiny in there. But uh, so these were used and issued with corrosive ammo, and they were military rifles. So for being as old as it as it is, it's in good shape. I may have to recrown the barrel. It looks all right. I mean, it looks pretty damn good actually. But when I refinish it, I'm gonna take it out, test shoot it. If it's shooting good, I'll just leave it alone. Um, but if not, I'll probably take a sixteenth of an inch and square this off and then recrown it with maybe an 11 degree target crown. So I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Um, that one's just going to be restored. This one here, this other one is in pretty rough shape. Um, the crown is terrible. The bore is acceptable, I think, for my purposes. Um, the magazine is broken. It's missing a, a leaf spring on the bottom. But um, I checked the chamber with my no-go go gauges, and uh, it's a go, so should be safe to shoot. Um, uh, the bolt is going to need some polishing for sure. This stock is um, pretty bad. I mean, I might sell it to somebody who really has a passion for these. I'll see if I can sell it, and uh, maybe they'll love it more than I do. But it's got cracks in it, and uh, it needs a lot of work, so th that's going to be replaced. And uh, I have some very cool plans for this. It's going to be a pretty extensive project. And I hope you guys will uh, join me, come along for the ride. Right now, today, what I'm going to do is probably spend the better part of an hour or two working on this bore, see if I can get some of the fouling out of there with some brushes and solvents and whatnot. So, so yeah, some time to meditate in my garage with me and my best friend, Jack Lynx. Be working on this project together. So stay tuned, guys. This is going to be a multi-part video series, and uh, I think you'll really dig it.